Hello everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we defeated Rubiconte here in the tower. We also defeated Edge's parents. Well, technically, we didn't defeat them. They disappeared. They, like, faded from existence because they regained consciousness, or they regained their sanity, able to save us from the fight. Uh, but we defeated Rubiconte. And now we can continue on to this room. Yep. It's the crystals. A trap door! Uh And we're back down here to the lower tier part of the tower. Ow. We've fallen back to the subterranean level. Yep. And now we're in this area. And we can at least finish this map, so that's why I like about this. Finally. Oh, never mind. And everything here is too weak to kill. It's all it's all stuff that we were grinding the last time. So might as well take him down. Because now we get a full team again. We did it. We did it, boys. We've killed skeletons. And we have an elixir now. Okay, now we're connected to this area. Uh, go right first. You know what? Only Cecil will, will heal it. Yeah. We can still damage it. Oh yeah. Kane can kill it quick. With that axe. He's about to axe you a question. Another high potion. I'll try not to rely on the map as much. Like, I'll, I'll use it just to see if I if I miss any spots. We got two more ethers. Hey, look! It's my ship. What's this? The enemy's latest airship. All right, we can escape in this. But it's an enemy air- it's an enemy ship! Don't worry. I'm sure she'd rather be flown by us anyways. You don't suppose this could be a trap, do you? This beauty? Not a chance. Alright then. We'll call her the Falcon. Oh, four. Quickly, we must get out of here. Let's see what you can do, Falcon. Yeah. And now we're back here. We just gotta be careful that, uh, you know, people don't see us as vi villains. Oh yeah, she can't go over lava. But we can at least get this one little spot I missed. Get that down there. Back to the dwarves. They're here to help us. The Dwarven Castle. Go talk to the king. Actually, there's one little spot I want to go to. Not the inn, but inside the inn. Alright, not there. I think it's here. Yep. Look who is alive. What? 
Is it time for dinner again already? I tell you, the cuisine down here could use some work. If I have to eat one more... Sid. You're alive. Put on a real show, didn't you? <laughs> Who's this old codger? Codger? Did you... Did that unmannered lout just call me an old codger? You're the unmannered one. Who is he? Who is this snot-nosed little brat? <laughs> I'm Prince Edge of Eblon. Pleased to make your acquaintance, old man. He has a foul tongue, but the matter of his royalty seems true enough. Let's, let's not forget my dashing looks and mis mystifying skills. Edge, please, this man is injured. Huh, so Rydia's got you right in that with that pretty little face of hers, eh? C quiet, you. What's become of Golbez? We defeated his four archfiends, but he still holds all of the crystals save one. We, we would go to secure it if only the Enterprise weren't still up on the surface. The enemy ship we stole cannot cross the magma. Hm. Doesn't sound like you can do much at all, does it? Guess it's up to me again. I swear, you kids would would never get anything done without me. Sir, you must stay in bed. At least until you've healed. We young folks are quick to recover. There's no time to be lounging about. If you want me on my back again, you best come and lend me a hand. He certainly seems well enough. Indeed. Look at that man go. That ought to let you fly over anything you want. Thank you, Sid. Sid? He's sleeping. He's tired. Seems to have worn himself out. He always pushes himself too hard. Sid, thank you for everything. What's this? There's a letter beneath this pillow. <clears throat> I'm writing this letter in case the worst should befall me. If you're reading this, I suppose it has. Make sure you give all those bad baddies an extra whack on the head for me. We owe it to our late king. No, we owe it to everyone in this world. Even these, even these people down here with their lousy food. And please apologize to my daughter for me. For all I put her through with my selfishness. All my love, Sid. Obtain the Analyze Augment. And with that, we now have the ability to cross everywhere. Which, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the map. So, allow me to do that real quick. Okay, that's the Fat Chocobo. I meant to go this direction. We're gonna go talk to the king, because he's gonna tell us where the crystal is. Oh, you've returned. I've been waiting. And what are the crystals? We failed. I see. Gobez has been hard at work attempting to acquire the last one. He is now trying to force open the sealed cave's entrance. It is only a matter of time before he succeeds. I was hoping you might go and remove the crystals before he does. Luca? Yes, father? Bring me your necklace. 
Here you go. This necklace, you see, is the key to the sealed cave. No one can pass through the entryway without it. Please, you must protect the final crystal. We will try. Obtain Luca's necklace. Okay, now we just I just gotta remember where the sealed cave is. Because now we can fly everywhere. I can adjust myself in my chair. Now we can fly everywhere and finish this uh, the the underworld map. So let's do that real quick. Because there's a there's a few areas that it might be. A little town right there, or a house right there. I think if yeah, that house right there, if you bring adamantite, uh, you get Excalibur from. Wait, oh, come on. It won't give me that little piece. Uh oh. Trying to finish the map here, people. That might be the sealed cave right there. I'm mostly paying attention to the map, so I'm not I'm not paying attention to the obstacles in front of me. Okay, there we go. We got rid of everything. Okay. There's a cave right here. Let's try this one. There we go. This is cave number one. This is the Sylph Cave. We'll come back here. We actually do got to go there because there's some important stuff there. I'll come there once we finish the... When we finish the moon the first time. Because you go back to the moon. The moon is the final dungeon, but you also have to go back. Uh, you, have, you have to go there to begin with. Okay. I passed through this way when I left the Fey March. We should seek out Leviathan and the others and ask for their aid. I'll be coming back here later, too. We are not ready for this area. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I want to leave! Thank you. Because, uh, we're underleveled for this cave. I, I can promise us that. Okay, she's good. There should be a cave right here. Are you sealed? Yep, that's it. Okay. Let me get the last few landmarks and we're good. Okay, there's a village right here. Oh god, Chimera. <laughs> okay, they're not that tough. Let's take them. Let's take them. Oh yeah, I forgot. Elemental heals them. Forgot about that. Okay, good. One's dead. That's fine. I'll have Cecil focus on healing. While everyone else actually does damage. Never mind. We're about to have a death. Two deaths. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. I still love listening to the theme down here. It's so, you know, whenever I don't have people uh, freaking uh, revving their engines and stuff, I love listening to that theme. 
Okay, we'll come back here later. There should be... Yeah, the little house over here. Yep. That's the forge where we get Excalibur. Anything else? If not, we're going to go into the sealed cave and at least get it started. Yeah, we can't go there yet. We're stuck in the underworld for a bit. Yeah, so our only option is the uh, sealed cave. Well, first things first... Let's use a tent real quick to make sure we're at full health and mana. And now, save. Yep. Alright, let's open the gate. Hold aloft the key and the way to the crystal will open. Right as I open the door. Snake people! You don't scare me! I do need to get a new sword for, for, uh, for Cecil. Gonna have to heal that poison. Because they can poison you. Thankfully, I always carry antidotes. Probably need to go restock. Yeah, I have enough money to restock. Oh, yeah. So, I remember what the boss of this area is. It's a very annoying boss. It's not like, it's not like the most challenging thing ever. It's just, it has a insta-kill ability. Um, and by insta kill, I mean after a set time limit, you lose. It's one of those type of boss fights. You have to kill it very fast, so... I don't have enough time to finish this cave, but what I can definitely do is, uh... Grind and be prepared for this fight. Because we want to make sure we do as much damage as possible. Actually, that's a good idea. Let Cecil be the one to attack her. Nope. They need more health. So yeah, Rydia and Edge need more health. That's the only way they're going to survive it. Because if we would have been if we would have been hit by one more, it would have killed Rosa and gotten Kane very low. Let's at least get pretty far in here before it ends, before this episode ends. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's ropes you climb. It's how you get around this cave. Okay, there's a door right there. Nope, I'm running from the chimeras for a bit. Mostly because it's kind of hard to attack them when you have a... Uh, when you have one guy who heals them. Okay, that's no door, it's a monster! Yep. These guys do pretty good damage. But then again, so do we. Oh 
Oh god. And then he's gonna insta kill, so we gotta be quick. No, we're not gonna do it in time. Oh wait, he might he might be able to dodge it. Ninth dimension, dodge, dodge. No, oh, he went for he went for Cecil. Ninth dimension is an insta kill. So that's a little bit of experience that Cecil's not gonna get. Rose is level fifty four. These are rooms, it's just they're guarded by these doors. So what's in room number one? Two chests. There we go. An ether. Let me guess, ether. No, Kotetsu. An actually good weapon. There we go. No, he's got actual damage. I wonder if I can find another Kotatsu and have him dual wield. Because that'd be pretty good. How much damage he do now? Let's find out. Go ahead, silence us. We're just gonna beat you. And he's poisoned us. 1506, not bad. Yeah, that's not that bad of damage. They do need a lot of grinding. I think I'm gonna be go doing a restock after this episode. A bestiary. Okay, we need to get the rope to get up there. Climb, Cecil, climb! Climb like you want it! That's a monster. But we do need to go in there. Okay, one dead. Damn, it's like an instantaneous poison. Beautiful. Now we just gotta waste another antidote. So let's do that. Finish the map first, and then I'll take out that door, and that'll be the end of this episode. Because that's where we gotta go, regardless. Three Gaia drums. Alright, let's do this. That's no door, it's a monster! Throw everything we have at him. Yeah, this is the one time I say don't hold back. Oh dear god. <laughs> Ooh, 
Let's see how much damage this boy does. Oh yeah. Yeah. He got he's getting his workout in. Not that much. Okay, we at least got Rosa back. That's who I'm trying to keep alive. Go ahead, use Ninth Dimension. There we go, we survived. With only one death. Okay, what's in here? Yep, that's where we need to go. Make sure we're good. And that's where I'm going to end this episode, guys. So thank you everyone so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to finish the sealed cave. The boss is going to be annoying, but by next week, we'll be ready for it. I'll make sure of it. Because these guys, uh, th this dungeon does give us some good XP. So, anyway, guys. Until next episode, guys, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll talk to you all on Monday.